Hey everybody, it's Mac from Rev Robotics. Today we're going to be going through some tips and tricks with using our 15 millimeter linear motion kit. So our first tip is with the assembly process. At the end of your assembly of your linear motion kit and typically with any of your lifts you're going to need to put on one of these end caps. The end caps are great because they allow you to support the pulley that's going to basically have the whole string apparatus for your linear motion system. Uh, but one of the things that you need to do beforehand is you need to tap the end of the extrusion while you're putting these on. Now trying to do this while you're trying to keep the end cap seated onto the extrusion can be a little bit difficult. So one of the easy tips is for you just to take a M3 uh, 8 millimeter long hex head and start the process of tapping beforehand. You can kind of get this a little bit seated in here with your, with your hands and then if it hasn't been tapped previously you can take your nut driver and just kind of drive this into the extrusion. Now one of the things that is a typical uh, failure point when you're trying to tap the end of the extrusion is you'll start to hit a point where there might be a little bit of chip buildup from the aluminum. So you kind of go in until you start to feel a little bit of resistance and then you can kind of back this out about a half of a turn and then you can keep going in about two or three turns and then back out a little bit as well. And then you can kind of keep repeating this process until the, ext until the uh, extrusion is completely tapped so your bolt head will be all the way down. Now this won't be the full way that you, you need to go down the extrusion with your 16 millimeter long screw, but it will give you a good starting point so then you can get enough of the thread from your 16 millimeter screw into the extrusion uh, to attach the end cap on. So as you're going through the assembly process of each individual stage, it's usually a good time to be able to do kind of a test and check to see uh, how these pieces are going to end up fitting together and how much resistance is going to be along uh, that section of your uh, linear motion. Because each one of the sections, uh, depending on which side of the extrusion that you choose, um, could, have, could have some impact. Especially if you're using extrusion uh, that has been on a previous robot or has been used for prototyping or some form of design. Uh, there can be other debris and some other things that can potentially get into these slots. So finding the one that's the most ideal is a good first step before you go through the whole process of assembly each individual stage. So what I typically like to do is you kind of have one stage that's more or less fully completed and ready to go. And then you can keep one of the end wipers kind of loose and free for you to be able to do some test fits. So you're able to just kind of slide this on get this locked in onto the extrusion and then you can kind of go about the process of sliding on the extrusion just to kind of see how this stage would end up feeling. So like this one feels like pretty loose and free as you can kind of see because we're able to kind of have a keep motion as we kind of let go of the force um, that's attached to it. But if we were to kind of take this we can kind of rotate this around and then see if there maybe there's another end where it wouldn't be nearly uh, as free as this previous as this previous section kind of is and, and you can kind of kind of sit here and do a test and check to make sure that the side that you're choosing as you're kind of going through your assembly process is going to be the right one and so we can kind of get this one seated in here and then kind of try that again and this one also seems pretty good so it looks like we've kind of lucked out with the first two that we've chosen um, but we can kind of just be able to do kind of a test to make sure that this is going to be uh, a nice and free fitting slide. So as you're going through the process of building using our linear motion guide, we'll end up having you use both wipers where you're using M3 hardware to physically hold this inner wiper on by using regular M3 nuts into one of the extrusion slots. This is really great for lifts that are going to be having a little bit more weight that are attached to them, um, but in some cases you're going to be wanting to have something that is a little bit faster and maybe has a light weight attachment on the end so it's not going to be under as much stress or under as much load. And so with that you're able to kind of go ahead and do a little bit of a different technique um, that will end up constraining this inside wiper 
with the end cap itself, as well as a set screw and one of the standard non-lock nut versions of the M3 nuts. So you're able to take that inner wiper, slide that in to the end of the extrusion there. You can take your set screw with your key, Allen key, and basically connect that into the M3 nut. Now, all of the set screws that come with the rev shaft collars all have an M3 thread, which is the same as what is in our for our M3 nuts. So you're able to use those interchangeably, and then you can end up taking that set screw nut combination, adding that into the end, and then basically using this to hold your wiper in place. So you can kind of slide that down and in, and then this will constrain that wiper. One of the things to just keep in mind though is like unlike having two pieces of hardware being able to hold the wiper in place, with this one you only have the one and you're using the end cap as your other side to constrain that wiper. So utilizing this with lighter duty lifts is what is recommended if you're going to be lifting anything that is heavy, uh, going with the standard configuration is, a, is the way to go. So there's a few tips on putting together your linear motion system. Do you have any tips? Feel free to share them with us in the comments. If you run into any issues with your linear motion kit or any Rev products, feel free to reach out to us, support at revrobotics.com. Good luck everybody, and we hope to see you at the competition.